James Darkmoon, by order of the Judge Advocate General of the Army of the United States of America, you have been sentenced to death for the murder of Lieutenant General Louise Elizabeth Smith. Make a statement at this time. Yeah, I got something to say. But I guess no one cares to hear it. You're entitled to a statement. Wish I could have added to this life. Instead of taking me. But a man is what he is. That's it. Officer on watch, sir. Enter. Sir, we have an unidentified ISS APC approaching. We have challenged. And? The response was a request to present you with a security password. Changing woman. Clear them. Place the Saratoga on security alert. All personnel, all decks. We'll confine the quarters until further notice. Yes, sir. We thought we were alone. We believed the universe was ours. Until one night in 2063, on an Earth colony 16 light years away, they struck. And now we're at war. My name is Lieutenant Colonel T.C. McQueen. I'm an in vitro, a race of artificially gestated humans. I command a Marine Corps squadron. The 58th, they call us the wild cards. We fight when called. In space, on land, and at sea. To lose this war means more than defeat. To surrender is to never go home. All of us must rise to the call, above and beyond. They didn't sound reveille. General Quarters. Yeah, this could be it. I heard this how Roundhammer would start. No. No, I heard it would be weeks before D-Day 2. Months, maybe. I heard it's been pushed up. It's any day now. Man, we all know what's gonna happen. Just not where, when. They should just come out and tell us. Maybe they're not saying anything because... Round hammers BS. Disinformation is like the chigs or us somehow. No, there's too much weirdness going on for it not to be real. The main weirdness going on here is all these rumors. It's just gossip. Boredom killers. If it happens, it'll happen. When it happens, it'll happen. Looks like today's gonna be the same old routine. Where is everybody? What's the deal here? Mission briefing said wheels up and 10 mics. I don't even see a flight crew. 
Flight deck 16, right? Yeah, maybe the war's over when they forgot to tell us. No such luck. I hear people working in there. Let's check what's going on through the Odin. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. What are you people doing standing around? I want you out there bombing chigs before they've had their morning coffee and donuts. Don't tell it to us. Sir, someone's locked us out. Security lockdown? You don't know what's going on, sir? No, Wang, I don't. Must have slipped the commander in chief's mind when we teed off this morning. Vance and her crew's working on our hammers in there. Sir, our hammers underwent a thorough maintenance inspection after the last mission. If they'd found anything, we would have been told. It doesn't make sense. Why give us orders we can't carry out? Maybe it's just a hangar drum malfunction. What do we do now, sir? This mission's been scrubbed. Every squadron? Just ours. Why would they do that to us? It's not up to us to ask why. I'll get back to your quarters. I'll wait for their orders. Whoa. Son, I don't know if you'll understand what I'm about to say. This is Roslyn. You damage her, you damage me. And I will make you walk all 12.6 light years back to Fat Anthony's guitar parlor in Shreve Point, Louisiana to repair a single knee. We wouldn't want that now, because I'd have to make him walk all the way to Country Dick's Guitar Shop in Austin, Texas. We're all secured here, sir. <laughs> Country Dick's? Who? Well, baby. Oh, man, that's been a long time. That Galveston, oh. we were bombed. I drove those women away singing the Ballad of Ira Hayes. <laughs> you would have driven anybody away after six times in a row. <laughs> Speaking of which. I was driving through Arizona a few years ago. I was with my people, the Navajo, and I bought this off a guy on the people reservation. Claims it's an old letter signed by Ira Hayes that he wrote at Iwo Jima. I doubt if it is, but I thought about you, and hell, I don't think it is. I've been wondering about Hayes a lot. First demanding to become a Marine paratrooper, help raise the flag at Iwo Jima. became a hero for a country that had massacred Native Americans. They say he drowned in a mud puddle, drunk. Did he ever feel he'd been used? Had he done the right thing? Would he have done it the same way again if he had a chance? Too bad the dead don't get a chance to redeem themselves. Is there something that's troubling you because of your new appointment? You are now the highest ranking Native American officer in the world. Although it's hard for me to imagine you in charge of anything called intelligence. The enemy seems to know our every move in preparation for round hammer. We don't know if it's surveillance, or if there's a traitor amongst us. Therefore, our mission here Ultra compartmentalized will alter that situation. Once it's executed, Operation Round Hammer is a go. How much can you tell an old friend? I can only tell you the details of the mission. Just four people in the world know the entire plan. First thing I can tell you, Glenn, is I will use one of the Saratoga squadrons, 58. What I can tell you is the dead will redeem themselves. Could we have flown through some new enemy weapons fire and the techies are analyzing the residue on our planes? Seems more likely that there's a defective part in the hammerhead. Maybe they're just checking it out secretly. Then why would they let all the other hammerheads fly today? Why ground just us? Now, don't look when I say this, but the woman walking into the bar... The... I saw her going onto the flight deck when we were locked out. Coop, go pump her. Say what now? information. Yeah, G.I.G. Go find out what's going on. Evening. Been aboard the Saratoga long? Long enough to want to leave, not long enough to have completed my assignment. 
which is I'm sorry. My name's Cooper Hawks, Lieutenant 948-98-01446. Born at the in vitro facility, Philadelphia, sentenced to the Marine Corps for kicking the crap out of some punks who were really trying to hang you. Wildcard call name, Jack of Spades. An outstanding fighter pilot awarded the Montgomery Star for the Battle of the Belt, recently released from detoxification for an addiction to green meanies. Well, it was nice to meet you. We'll talk again. <laughs> you get anything? The creeps. Big deal if they got rid of security. Well, everything looks all right. put this in there and I got a feeling that they don't want us to know about it. are as follows. You're to fly in formation, five MSKs away from the Saratoga into the Doris region. Doris? There's nothing going on down there. You will be joined by an APC on an intercepting course. You will then deploy into a modified VIC protecting the APC. Squadron escort through a safe area, sir? And to where? I don't know. You know as much as I do. The orders. That's all you need to know. Look alive. We are five MSKs out. Approaching rendezvous. Bogey three o'clock, IFF. Bogey ID confirmed. APC on intercept. Let's give them a holler. Maybe they can tell us what this mission's all about. Roger that. This is wild cards to APC. Request coordinates for escort. This is wild cards to APC. Please respond. Come on, rude boy, start talking. No response. He's flying like he doesn't see us. Nobody better do something before we get sideswiped. Alter angle, 90 degrees. We'll jump on this guy from above. Hack! I just tried all the frequencies, no response. This guy is DUI. He is stoned or dead. He almost took me out. APC, this is wild cards. What the hell is your problem? Respond on TAC-1, now! I got three bogeys straight ahead. They're flying in classic chick formation. Confirm. Let's heat them up. Wait a mic. IFF confirms targeting drones, 12 o'clock. I don't get it. Well, we came all the way out here for target practice? Scored a bullseye. He sure went hot in a hurry. That's not saying much against drones. I'm holding off judgment until he takes on the real thing. Whoa, it's got me locked! Take it hit! Can't you get permission to retaliate? 
granted. Target that engine and take him out! Turn to home plate. We're just gonna leave whoever's in there to drift in space? Note the coordinates for retrieval. We'll land to the Saratoga. 5-8, you're cleared in on deck 4. We advise your flight recorders will be confiscated. You're involved in a blue fire incident. This won't be good. They fired on us. All of you just keep quiet till you get attorneys. Captain Benson, you're to follow me directly to the interrogation room. Captain! Each of them pulled the ADN modules from their cockpits. It would have been a total success otherwise. You gonna question her? She put foreign objects in our controls. Our controls! Benson! It is every pilot's right to know the condition of her craft. You kept that right from us. Without knowing the mission objectives, we cannot assume that we were not being placed in danger. Sir, we are not asking to be told information that is not meant for us to know. We are not afraid of being placed in jeopardy, but we want to know when we're being placed in it. Sir, we can't trust you if you don't trust us. The APC locked on us. Your insubordinate actions made you a foe for the APC. Go oh, to hell with that. The pilots fired on us. Let's talk to them. There were no pilots. Cancel all interrogations. The 50 is to report the orientation room immediately. The following mission is classified ultra-compartmentalized. You are not to discuss it amongst yourselves. You are not to question it. You are not to theorize nor pose hypotheticals. If any of you feels incapable of doing so, please speak up now so that you may be dismissed with no consequences whatsoever to your record. Your assignment is as escort to an inter-solar system armored personnel carrier to the planet Eris. There are two major obstacles before you reach the target planet. First, enemy occupied territory, defined by the Walden Line. And second, an asteroid belt that trails the planet Helios. You will successfully negotiate these obstacles, fly to the chick held planet Eris, and then no doubt encounter further enemy activity. At which time, you will allow the ISS ACP to become vulnerable and you will allow it to be shot down. Afterwards, you will demonstrate behavior which could be interpreted as squadron panic. Then turn tail and run like hell. Sir, are you asking us to fail? Failure will be our greatest success. The APC will be piloted via telepresence by Colonel Klingman here aboard the Saratoga. This device, which you removed from your cockpits, interlinks the position and velocity of your hammerheads to the computers operating the telepresence. Great, so that's what today was all about. There won't be anybody on board the APC. There'll be passengers on the craft. In word to allow them to be killed? They'll never know what hit them. That's all I can say about the objectives. Dismiss. We're not supposed to talk about it. They want us to escort this thing through two Chig fighter wings. I want to let it get shot down. They're saying anyone on the APC is expendable. But what if they're not the only ones? thinking the general said the passengers would never feel a thing passengers to me that says they're not human i'm thinking they could be dropping animals or something onto the planet what like some trained flying monkeys no i mean you know something might freak them out a little caesar used elephants when they had